How's it going, tents? So what we're going to do now is we are going to go into higher purchase. Okay. So before I go into an example, I just want to talk to you about what high purchase is. So a high purchase is an agreement that exists between people who want to buy goods when they can't afford full, um, the full price of whatever that item is. So what happens is the person that is buying whatever it is will get will go into the shop and put down a deposit on whatever item it is. Let's say they're going to go buy a car. So, and the car costs 50,000 Rand. They'll put down a deposit, say, of 10,000 Rand. So, what they still need to pay back is 40,000 Rand. And they are going to take a loan on that 40,000. And then, you know, with you saw with the previous exercises that you'll get interest on that loan. Okay. So, basically, that's what it is. And higher purchase is always simple interest. Okay. Um, now, Normally what happens with these type of uh, problems is there will be some type of an insurance as well that you have to pay on the goods in case it gets stolen or damaged or whatever the case is. So um, let's have a look at the first example. Now I'm not going to write down the example because a lot of these things are a whole long story, etc, etc. So just have a look at your slides and um, the example will be written there and then you can copy them on your books from there. So we're going to be working from slides 15 to 22 and the PowerPoint is grade 10 financial maths. So example one, it says there are two ways to buy a new fridge. Pay a cash price of 8,289 Rand or sign a higher purchase agreement charging 21.5% per annum for 30 months under which you have to pay a 10% deposit and 439 Rand per month. Okay, so it says check that the advert alongside is correct, which is what I've just read to you. Okay, so first of all, let's work out what our deposit is. So we know that the deposit is going to be equal to 10% of the selling price. So you remember 10%, I'm going to write as 10 over 100. So that was 10%. And it's 10% of the selling price. And our selling price is 8,289 Rand. So if we put that on the calculator, we should get 828 and 90 cents okay which is approximately 830 rand about okay um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to find out what is the amount of money that this person is going to borrow okay so they walk into the shop, these people pay 830 Rand, okay, out of their pocket. That is the selling price. So we need to take 830 off this amount, and that will be the loan amount. And you remember your borrowing amount, your principal amount, is P. So we know that P is going to be equal to the original selling price, 8,289, minus our deposit. And we get an amount of 7,459 Rand. Okay. So they paid a deposit of that. Now they need to borrow this amount to buy this fridge. So you remember, we're going to now do our A, P, I, and N. And now why I'm doing this is because this is the loan amount. And we want to find out what is the interest onto this, okay? So our accumulated amount, we don't know. Our principal amount, our start off is this, 7,459. Our interest rate, now if you go back to the example, they say they are charging a 21.5% interest rate. So this is 
over 100. Okay, that was 21 and a half percent. And what they're talking about here now is they're saying that it's for 30 months. Now, I don't like the months. What we want is we want this in years. Okay, so what I need to do with this is I need to divide this by 12 to convert months into years. So we get here, if we take 30 divided by 12, we get the two and a half. Now this is in years. Okay. What I can do now is I can substitute this into my formula. And we get, so if I write the formula, A is equal to P, 1 plus I times N. Fill in all your info. A is equal to 749.59. One plus interest rate is 21,5 over 100. And we're timesing that by two and a half. Okay, if you put that on your calculator, we get a final amount of 11,468 rand and 21 cents. Okay. So, that is the total amount that you can be paying after two and a half years. Now, it says here that what I want to do now is I want to find out what is our installments. In other words, what are we paying monthly? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this amount... And I'm going to divide it by 30 because we're paying it over 30 months. And that will give me what these people are paying per month. And we get 382 Rand per month. Okay. So you remember what the question was. Check if this advert is correct. So the advert is saying you put down a deposit of 830 Rand. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, the main price is uh, 8,289 Rand. But it says, now this is where the problem comes. It says that you will be paying 439 Rand for 30 months. We worked out that you're paying 382 Rand per month. So what they're actually doing in the ad is they are charging you more. So the ad is wrong. Okay, that is what you're paying per month. If we go to example two. Okay, example two is saying the monthly installment on a two-year higher purchase agreement charging 21.5% per annum for a new TV is 536 rand and 19 cents determine the purchase price of the tv if the buyer also needs to pay a deposit of a thousand rand okay so what i want to do here example two is just fill in our apin okay so they've told us here that um first of all you're paying 536 rand and 19 cents over two years okay so we know that we're paying 536 rand 19 cents for two years so what i can work out here is i can work out how much this person paid in total over the two years so that will be our accumulated amount so a would be equal to 536 comma 19 multiplied by two years is going to be 2 times 12 okay because we want to this is a monthly payment that they say all right so if we work that out on the calculator we get 12,800 and 68 rand and 56 cents 
So now I know what my accumulated amount is. 12,868.56 cents. Okay. Let's carry on. They are now saying that the um, interest charged on this is 21.5%. So this is 21.5 over 100. So that was 21.5%. Okay. And it is over two years, which is good. We want that in years. Okay. And we're going to work out the principal amount. Okay. Because you remember they said, determine the purchase price of the TV. Okay. Let's work with our formula. A is equal to P. 1 plus I times N. Our accumulated amount, we know. Equals P. 1 plus 21 over 5 times over 100. Times that by 2. Okay. So what I do here, grade uh, tens, is I'm going to take this amount, do this on your calculator, this amount divided by this bracket, and you will get a principal amount of 8,998 rand and 99 cents. Okay, so that is what they borrowed. But now remember, they said that this person paid a deposit of a thousand rand. Okay. So what we have to do now is we have to add on that deposit. Because you remember with the previous example, we subtracted it off to get that principal amount. But we're working backwards now, so I need to add it. So the purchase price is equal to 8,998.99 plus the thousand. So we get um, 9,900. And 98 and 99 cents okay which is approximately rounding off without the cents 9999 rand so that is the um, the purchase price the original purchase price okay if we look at example 3 I'll read it out to you. It says a car costing 195,000 Rand is bought using a higher purchase agreement, requiring a 20% deposit. The bank charges 11.7% per annum over five years. On the balance, determine the monthly installment if 1% of the purchase price is added every month for insurance. Okay. So what we've got here is we've got a total amount of 195,000, but a 20% is required for a deposit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what our deposit is. And our deposit would be equal to 195,000 multiplied by, uh, and they said it's 20%. So it's 20 over 100. And if we work that out on the calculator, 195,000 multiplied by 20 over 100, we get 39,000 Rand. So you have to pay 39,000 Rand deposit on this car. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work out the principal amount. And the principal amount would be equal to this 195,000 minus our deposit. Okay, so we're going to get 195,000 minus our deposit. And we get 156,000. So that is what we're going to borrow, okay? So let's find out what our loan amount is on this. So A is equal to, P is equal to, I is equal to, and N is equal to. So remember, we want to find out what our total loan amount is. That's the thing we don't know. Principal amount, which is calculated there. Our interest rate. Our interest rate says it's 11.7%. 
So this is 11.7 over 100. And they're telling us that uh, this loan was taken over five years. Okay. So our formula is A is equal to P. 1 plus I times N. Plug in our information. Put this on the calculator and you get an accumulated amount of 247,260. So this is actually a bit scary, grade tens. If you have a look here, you borrowed 156,000, but you're paying back 247,000. So you're almost adding on an extra 100,000 here. Uh, yeah, that's what the banks do to you and that's how they make money. Anyways, so going back to the question, we still wanna work out what our installment would be for this car. So remember, we still have to work out what our insurance is. Now the insurance part says, I'll read it to you again, it says, 1% of the purchase price is added every month for ins insurance. This is your purchase price, okay? This is not your purchase price. This is your loan amount, okay? So what we need to do is we need to just work out what our insurance is. It's going to be equal to um, the purchase price, which is 195000 multiplied by 1%. And if you work that out, our insurance is 1,950 Rand. And now this is going to be per month. That's how much insurance is going to be per month. So what we want to do now is we want to figure out what our monthly installments are. In other words, how much are we paying per month? Okay, so installment. Would be equal to. This is our loan amount, loan amount over the total period. So I'm going to do uh, 247,260 divided by, now it's five years. I'm going to convert the years into months. So this would be five times 12. Okay. Our total amount divided by how many months there are. But I must still add on our insurance amount per month. Okay. If you work this out on a calculator, you will get 6,071 Rand per month. So that is how much you're going to pay per month to pay off this loan amount plus the insurance. Okay. So, grade 10s, I would like you to do exercise 12.3 for me, please. Thank you.